Hey guys, Hector here with another entry in the Otaku Encyclopedia. This week I want to talk about idols. Now many of you guys might know what idols are since it's a pretty big otaku subculture. But for those that don't, I'll try and give you as much information as possible. So idols are pretty much like celebrities, or some might use the term talent, but of course not all celebrities are idols. So idols are pretty much a subcategory of celebrities, I guess you can say. Um, they can be male or female, and the ages range between 10, sometimes even a little bit younger, up to 25, but you usually don't see idols past 25. So the job of an idol can vary throughout their career. Some idols like to stick to one job, but others like to fill as much jobs as they can or fill as much roles as they can throughout their career. So they can be models in magazines, they can be fully clothed or sometimes wear their underwear or swimsuits. Um, I think one of the most popular types of jobs is the pop idol. You know, they can be a singer and a dancer, and sometimes idols even join or form entire groups of idols, so the entire group sings and dances instead of just a single person. And then other times they might be actors and actresses in TV shows, dramas, movies, and often variety shows. Of course, variety shows are, they're called variety shows because they do a variety of things, and some idol groups even have their very own variety show. The very, very popular group, the idol group AKB48, has their own variety show called AK Bingo, which has been on the air for about 10 years. And actually, recently, there was a clip going around online during one of their kind of skits. Well, I don't know if you want to call it a skit. It was a competition. So in this kind of game show competition, they play dodgeball, and whoever gets hit with a dodgeball has to do something bad that's, you know, associated in that particular game. And in that clip, it had two girls blowing on a clear tube, and inside the, clu inside the clear tube was an edible bug. And so the girls were trying to blow the bug into the other girl's mouth. So it's not uncommon for an idol to work in all these different fields, but an idol is usually considered an amateur compared to professional actors, actresses, singers, models, and all that kind of stuff. Because the way to get this job, usually a talent agency just has an open audition. Regular people just go in, do the audition. Sometimes they are forced to sing and dance to see if they kind of fit the role, but oftentimes they're chosen based on their appearance. You know, their sex appeal, their cuteness, their innocent feel or whatnot, and so they're pretty much amateurs compared to the, prof to the professionals out there. But in recent years, some idols wanted to kind of step away from the idol label because they don't want to be considered amateur throughout their entire career. So that's how you get the job, but to keep the job, you have to kind of remain cute and pure and innocent, and you have to be a good role model to the younger audiences, so of course that's normal stuff like don't drink, don't smoke, say the right thing, etc, etc. But that also includes no dating. As long as you're an idol, you're usually not allowed to date. Some say it's because you want to feel accessible to all your fans, like any male fan come and date a female idol, which isn't true, but they just want to have that appearance. And some say it's to kind of keep that pure feel or whatnot. Of course, I don't believe there's any laws that allow this, but there's usually kind of rules that come with being an idol. And actually, oftentimes there's paparazzis that get photographs of idols dating boyfriends, girlfriends, or whatnot, and sleeping over at somebody's house, and so they run these photographs in magazines, on their website, etc., and there's this huge scandal, and that usually ends the career of an idol. And there was actually a pretty big story about two years ago with um, one of the AKB48's members, I believe her name was Minami Minagishi, and so she was caught sleeping over at her boyfriend's house, and she was about 20 years old at the time, I believe she's 22 now, and so there's this huge scandal, and she didn't want to get fired and whatnot, so she shaved her head and did this huge tearful apology, and they put it out online, I guess, or it might have been on TV, I'm not 100% sure, I think it was out online, and so all these news companies got this video and ran this huge news story. And um, so she didn't get fired, but she did get demoted within AKB48. So sometimes girls reach a certain age limit, or they break the rules, or something else happens. There can be a variety of reasons, so they might retire as an idol 
or some might use the term graduate because sometimes there's groups with rotating girls, they get new idols, old idols leave, then new idols come in and it just rotates like that. So instead of saying retire, they say they graduate from the group. So there are a ton of Japanese idols out there. Some are just single idols, some are groups. And probably the most popular group and the biggest is AKB48. There are over 100 members in that group. And they're kind of divided into teams, Team A, Team K, Team B, Team 4, and Team 8. Then they have sister groups like SKE48, and I believe NMB48 was another one. And then there's even a sister group in Indonesia called JKT48, I believe it was. Now recently there's another popular idol group, it's only five girls who sing, and they're called Momoiro Clover Z, I believe. And they actually did a collaboration recently with the legendary rock band KISS. I think it was just a few months ago, and they released a single, and that single was the very first song from KISS that reached the top of the charts in Japan. Believe it or not, after all these decades, KISS finally reaches the top of the charts in Japan. I guess you can say thanks to this Japanese idol group. But there are just a ton of idols over in Japan. You can probably find a number of them on Wikipedia, but sometimes Wikipedia does not have all that information you need. You usually have to go to sub-Wikipedia sites or other sites that are based off the Wikipedia structure, but that specialize in idol groups and Japanese cultures and stuff like that. So I guess that's about it for this video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you appreciated it, you can give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you want to see more Japanese related videos. Some are educational like this, some are product reviews, some are simple vlogs with my own opinions and thoughts and stuff. But they're all Japanese related. So if you want to see more like this, definitely subscribe because more will be coming in the future.